Hello, Purse Junkies, and I'm back. Yes, I am. So, as you can see, a sister's ready for bed. But I can't go to bed just yet because I'm responsible for cooking one said item for tomorrow, which is the easiest item for me to cook, which is a vegetable. So I have my meat on right now cooking and she is on a timer. And once that is done, I will go down, clean her and season it up, put it back on. I might not put it back on, I don't know. I might just throw it in the refrigerator once I clean it and um, season her down. But, <clears throat> Yes, that is my responsibility for tomorrow. Um, I was going to cook a full meal, but my daughter-in-law said, nope. And I was like, all right, say no more. So that's where we are. And we had to make a run to the store to get a couple of things for tomorrow. Um, and while I was out, I found, I've been trying to, you know, create some space in my room. And one of the issues that I have are with my shoes, um, finding shoes, especially now that the, you know, weather permitting, I can wear sandals. So I purchased from a store shoe boxes. There were four, there are four containers that you were able to put your shoes in for $19, which was great because I can just put multiple sandals in one cube. But I only purchased one because I wasn't sure how it was going to look. And I was like, oh, I'll go back and get some more. Um, but before we even got to that store, we stopped by Target. And folks, this is what I use on my feet and it's a game changer. Like, I am so glad I was able to find that because it was so hard. I know I'm all over the place. It was like difficult to find at one time in the store. And this time when I went and I found, I purchased four. And if I get back to Dollar Tree, which I was there today, but it wasn't on my mind to purchase. But if I go back, I will get more because I go through this I, every day, morning, night. And my feet and my legs, you have no idea. So it's a diabetic foot cream, but if you're even if you're not diabetic, if you have dry feet, put that on and it's a game changer. Let me just say that. And for um, my legs, I am just putting on, it's a petroleum jelly cream from Dollar Tree. Um, and these are all items that, um, there was a dermatologist and I can't find her, but I, I, you know what, I am going to look her up because what she does is she goes through Dollar Tree and she looks at their products and she tells you what is good and what isn't. So when she said she recommend this to her patients, I knew I was on the right track and I had been using that for years prior to for years let me just say that prior to 2015 because that's when the bottles were huge and this was another one that she recommended so yeah I don't know I feel like just really bloated but um so back to my shopping so we went to as you can see, Target, my Target bag is back there. And I did pick up a couple of things from Target. And I have a TJ Maxx also, so I'm just gonna do everything because I just need to put this stuff away. So at Target, I did pick up another set of markers to bring me down. And then um, I did a video on this perfume from Pacifica. And I, the last, the first bottle I purchased, I purchased from Target. And 
let me tell you, ladies, if you want to smell good and you're trying to entice someone, you put this on. At first, you put on your Japanese cherry blossoms cream, not lotion, but cream, because cream, you know. And then you spray this on top. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I have women like, what are you wearing? Oh my God, what do you? Women approach me like, you, you just smell so good. So I did buy it from Amazon. But when I spray it, it smells like nothing. And the one that I purchased from Amazon came with the lotion and the perfume in the old bottle. Now, if you look at this, they've changed their bottle. They're, they've changed their packaging. So let's just say it that way. They've changed their packaging. This is how it's it is now yes and and but it's three dollars more oh, I love that smell it's three dollars more but there's more product also so I purchased this I want to see what the throw is going to be but this is the new packaging this is the new bottle a box that it comes in the other box was smaller so it smells so good oh it smells so good then yesterday last night we were at um tj max i spent 20 cents 20 cents at tj max because i had um, certificates that I didn't know about. <laughs> but I picked up alright, so this is the um, Dr. Bronner's and this soap is in the Cherry Blossom. So I picked up the smaller one and this is the price because I want to see what the smell, what the scent is um, for that. I don't care for all of them. The peppermint it, that's a game changer. When I use peppermint, I just feel so refreshed and just clean and squeaky. Like, like I can just pass by you and you, you know, like, you never know. You guys understand what I'm saying. Then I'm always looking for something for my eyes because my little balm that I wear, I'm almost out. It's, it's, it's at the very end. So I'll be scooping out and rubbing it in. So I saw this and this is a glow elixir, eye serum with vitamin C, hyaluronic acid and peptides. Now remember one of the things that um, I said, um, my sister who's an esthetician, she goes, you need to be able to see that hyaluronic acid and other um, items very close to the beginning of the ingredients, right? Now, I don't know if you can see it, but hyaluronic acid is right there. It's not at the bottom where most of the items that you may want to be in your product is always down here. No, it's up here on the second line. So I did purchase this. It's a glow elixir. And I am actually, well, I, I will start um, using this on my eyes tomorrow after I cleanse. And I want to get rid of some of these boxes. Like, I don't know why. I, tell me if you guys are the same. Like, you don't throw away your boxes. But I, I and look, it's, it's a thick serum. So, and she's in a pump. So, and hopefully the vitamin C will brighten the dark circles around my eyes because they are now getting darker. And then <clears throat> I'm always looking for a perfume and I like like strong musk smells. And so I saw this. Um, this is the price. And I saw this and um, first the bottle is what captured me. And there were, there was another scent that um, I had picked up. 
and it was nice. It, I think it was more of a floral, like floral scent. And I like floral, but I don't love it. But a musk scent, I love. It's just something about a strong musk scent that I love. Um, you guys let me know if you if you feel the same. And this gives off such a strong musk scent. Oh, it smells so good. And this is the, am I? The brand, the bottling is so cute. And it almost, um, when I say strong musk scent, this one also, this is sand and fog, the same. It has like a very strong musk scent and this is violet sandalwood. Okay, my hands are oily now because I just lotioned myself down. So, oh no, you know what, this is a roll on. Oh, listen, this here, I put this behind my, um, the underside of my kneecap because it can be very strong. Or ladies, if you're, if you don't want it, like you know how sometimes they put it here, here, you just tap it here and tap it there. This is all you need. So I did order um, the vanilla and then there's one that's a trio that you're able to carry inside your purse. So I'm waiting for that to come. And I like having, you know, when I can find something that is affordable and on sale, I will get it. I don't need any more name brand perfumes or designer perfumes because if you look back there, I have a boatload over there and I have some here uh, can I tell you something I will grab one of these before I grab those I go figure but that's what I do and like I said I was in the I'm in the process of just really creating space in my room and I saw this shoe rack um, that you are able to put your shoes here and store under your bed. And so it looks like I'll be able to get at least nine on each. And I think I'm gonna use this for my sneakers, which is gonna be perfect because then I can do a review on my sneakers because I'm a sneaker head. I love sneakers. And now that we're going into summer, oh, I will be rocking my sneakers, so I will be putting this together, and then I'll show you the other um, item that I purchased, and that was on sale for seven fifty. They charged me fifty cents more, but it says seven dollars on the thing. But my daughter-in-law checked out, so seven fifty. But they're home essentials. Target is having an amazing sale, so you can go in. They had a shoe rack, and it was a rolling shoe rack, and I've had a couple of those. I don't want them anymore, but it um, was on sale for $10. Folks, $10, and when I say it has multiple slots for your shoes, as well as um, a, a space up top, yeah i would say check it out their home essentials they have some great sales um but i went in and i got the things that i needed i want things out of sight because if i have too much in my visual field it will just drive me bonkers and i've just kind of like been like a little anxious my anxiety has been at a um at its peak because there's just been so much motion around me and I've just been tired, just exhausted. And I'm just trying to get back to just where my, where I'm just kind of like coming down and, you know, I'm walking on an even plane because it's just been, it's been rough. I've tried to do videos um, of me, you know, kind of color coding my nail polishes because Folks, you know, I want to see what color I'm using instead of opening them all up. Um, I've gotten through so much of it, and I may take a picture 
and put it at the end of this video so that you're able to see it but it has helped me out so much um, but I'm just trying to make space and rearrange things so probably tomorrow once we get home from church and my food is down there cooking I'll come back up here and do some rearranging of furniture I think I'm going to put my nail desk here and put my vanity over there I don't know we'll see but I get better lighting for my desk my vanity back there is <laughs> is the craziest thing but that's just another story folks it's another story but I want to say thank you so much for joining me for my um, if you're new to my channel please hit the subscribe button um, give me a like share the video comment and for my purse junkies and ladybugs who have rocked with me from day one thank you so much for coming back and joining um, like I said, I, I tried yesterday to do a video. I just couldn't. And today, late afternoon, I was able to get up and, um, knock out a couple, knock out a couple of reviews, two for Influencer and one for Born Pretty. The Born Pretty products, folks, I am absolutely in love with Born Pretty. Um, I received a, um... What is it? A rubber base gel. Um, and I'm actually wa actually watching the young lady now, or she's in the background, Anna Elizabeth. I love her channel. I love her vibe. I love her spirit. Um, I love her content. And she used the rubber base gel to protect her nails. And I understand why. And I am so, so happy that in my um, collab package, I did have the rubber base gel. And when I tell you that thing goes on like butter, it goes on like butter and it is absolutely beautiful. So I can also use it when I do my, what do you call it? My foils. So I'm very pleased with that. And we'll keep trucking along. Um, I do have another company that reached out to me a little bit weird because they want to have all the rights to my video. Mm -mm. I, you know, I I don't mind. It's just you won't see my face, so I might just say yes. Send me the products in. Um, but we shall see. But born pretty, yes. I am loving their polishes and I am loving all my purchases, but this is it. I, I, I'm not making any other purchases. This is my May, um, me by, I treat myself to something, um, once a month. Um, I don't go over my budget and I can say that I did very well. The most I spent was $19 on the one item. Anything else that I purchased was food. And like I said, these products here, um, I paid 20 cents for the TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx. Oh, and this was $26. Ugh. I'm sorry. So, folks, thank you so much for joining. Um, I don't want this video to be too long. Um, and I hope and pray, not hope, but I pray that each and every single mother out there have a happy and blessed Mother's Day. Um, and for those whose mother has passed away, have moved on, um, I pray that you find those happy memories with your mother um that you have shared in the past my mother passed away in 2019 but i think of her every day and i just share her memory and you know that is the most that i can do in her honor um and just live the life that she raised me to live and that is just to be humble and be, to be a child of god more importantly to stay in my lane uh, so, folks, I am going to end this for now, and I will see you in my next video. Good night.